Hey, what's up guys? Spears here, and welcome back to the episode of Beam and G. Um, I'm not sure why I do this, but I try and hide what I'm actually going to show you guys in these videos, even though it's in the title and the thumbnail. Like, I'm trying not to show you guys that direction, because something cool's over there, and you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Spears, we've seen this before, that's just the Charger, man. It's badass, but, you know, whatever. Well, have you seen that before? That's a rubber duck and a flip ramp. What am I doing? I don't know. Doing a wheelie, that's what I'm doing. Alright, check this out. We got a little rubber duck chilling right there. He's like, quack, quack, I'm a duck, where's the water? And then we have this this ramp. Now it's called a flip ramp. Um, pretty much because... Oh, let me show you real quick. <laughs> let me get technical here. You see this uh, little pole right here? Now, when you drive your car up, it hits a certain point and then it, it breaks, obviously, but it causes your car to flip and it breaks down into a regular ramp. And then you land on this one. Alright? So that's pretty cool. I've never heard of it before. It, apparently it's been out for a while. That's a drivable rubber duck, by the way. We're gonna try and get him to do a backflip. I don't think he's gonna do a backflip, but, uh... Ah, I just really want to own this car someday. This this car needs to happen in my life. Also, while I'm doing all this, I've got a uh, story to tell you guys. Um, I was actually drag racing the other night. Post a comment. Oh, by the way, if I seem a little, like, preoccupied or something, I clipped my uh, thumbnail way too low. I'm talking way too low. Like, it burns. Every every time I move my thumb, it's like, mm, don't do that ever again, please. Post comment, you guys ever done that? You ever clipped your nail so, so low that you can feel it in your soul? I have. It sucks. So we're gonna try this in slow motion. Anyways, like I was saying, oh yeah, we have a wheelie bar. Well, that's no good. Wheelie bar, wheelie bar's not gonna work. Um, can I take it off? I hope. Wheelie bar. Great. So if you want to go check out my Instagram, it's uh, Spears the Amazing HD. I'm verified as well. I got, ow, I got a little uh, blue check mark, which is cool. But um, just so you know, it's it's the real Spears. Okay. I don't want you guys following a fake one and thinking it's me, because it isn't. That happens sometimes, and I hate that shit because they ask you guys for stuff. It's weird. It's like, hey, donate me money. I need to buy a car. It's like, what? I don't think I would ever say that. Let's go. See, it deflates. It breaks itself. Bends your frame in the process. But you do a backflip. Now, I think that's just neat. Why did I sound like I was like 90 years old there? I don't know, but we're actually gonna land this on our wheels, which is great. Now, as we're going through the air here, let me just go to the cinematic camera. Oh, great. That is a nice view. Okay, let's just, all right. Let me just do it like this. So I was um, drag racing tonight with four of my, or three of my friends um, behind the airport um, where I live. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty dead end road, empty. It was an empty, you know, it was a Sunday night and everything like that. Um, oh boy, here we go. Oh, we didn't land on our wheels. It's whatever. One of the wheels still works. Just kidding. Nothing works. Whoa! So behind the airport, <laughs> as I was saying, um, and it, it, it's like a dead end sort of it, nobody goes there kind of road. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so we're back there. We're doing a, full, a few pull, play, 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 pulls and stuff. Now this this is the first time I've actually done pulls with my uh, my Hellcat uh, drags. Not pulls, sorry. Drag races with the new radials and stuff like that, and uh, just drag racing in general with it. And I think I did really good. I beat everybody there. Um, there was an STI, a modded STI, um, with about 500 and some horsepower. Um, oh boy, here we go. There it is again. That did not flip, actually. That did the opposite of flipping. That put me forward. Okay. Um, so there's an STI, uh, with about, like I said, 500 and some horsepower. He's trying to get 800 horsepower right now. He's gonna do it. Uh, he tunes his own car and stuff. It's nuts. It's a crazy car. It's, it's loud. Um, but the reason I'm telling you to go to my Instagram is because that is not what I wanted to do, though. It's because there's, there's a picture on there, uh, of the cop showing up. Now, we had done a bunch of pulls and stuff like that, you know, for... I don't know, like 20 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, something like that, and, uh, there we go, that's better. Oh, that's a corkscrew. Um, so we were doing pulls, I, I raced everybody about three times, and then they raced each other about three times. There was, uh, like I said, the STI, the WR WRX STI, the, um, there's a Corvette, uh, 2017 C7 Corvette, or C, yeah, C7 Corvette, it was a Grand Sport, I think that's a C7. Um, fast car, man. It's a fast car. It comes with really nice tires on it, too. Um, oh, rubber ducky. You can drive him. Check that out. And we were just doing quarter mile races. Oh, yeah, and there was another, uh, Corvette that my buddy just bought. Um, and it was an- it's an older Corvette. It's about 10 years old, so it's a C5, I think, or C6, something like that, C5. Um, fast car, man. Corvettes are, uh, deceivingly fast. So we're doing drag races and stuff like that, like I said. And then we stop and line all our cars up in a two-lane road. Um, it's a four-lane road, sorry. Um, and we line them up in one of the lanes underneath a light, and we just line them up and take pictures and stuff. And this cop comes fucking 
bear literally flying down the road towards us. Backflip, come on. No. He's not aerodynamic enough. Oh, poor duck. Um, <coughs> you just gonna chill there, buddy? That's cool. Stay there. You're, you're fine there. Don't worry about it. So he comes flying down the road at us, and we're like, is that a cop? Oh, fuck. Turns on his lights and everything, and gets out. He's like, now, you guys wouldn't be, uh, down here street racing, would you? I don't know why he sounds like that. Oh, that sucks. And we all look at each other. And before this cop came down, we're all like, listen, we're gonna have you do the talking. Guy I'm not gonna name. Alright, because you're the smartest. So everybody's like, he's gonna do the talking. The cop comes out, asks the question, everybody looks at each other, like... For like a minute, just just looking, looking at each other. So the cop asks if, if we're, we're drag racing. Everybody's like... Mm, no. They didn't say anything, so I'm like, no, 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 no. And then, then, then they're all like, no, 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 we're just taking pictures and stuff. Taking pictures, taking pictures. So it's like, yeah, great, awesome. Um, yeah, we're just taking pictures. That didn't seem fucking weird at all. He's like, yeah, we got calls and complaints. And we're like, nope, not us, not us. He's like, okay, I guess you're right. You guys aren't those Honda Civics. Those, those shitty fart cans. And he, sh <laughs> he just started talking shit about Honda Civics. And we were like, oh my God. He's like, yeah, my sergeant's coming down, and uh, he, he really likes Corvettes, he actually has one of these Corvettes, so he's gonna come down and we're, we're gonna talk to you guys. And they're like, oh, fuck. Oh, that was fucked. We're like, oh, fuck. Like, here we go. That's it. The sergeant's coming down, we're gonna get- we're gonna get screwed. But we were smart enough to stop when we did. I'm glad we stopped when we did, but we- we stopped. Now, there's no drag strips around where I live, by the way. There's- there's literally fucking nothing. Um... So, I mean... What else are we gonna do, right? Like, it's, we can't go to a drag strip, because, eh, there isn't one. So, let me, how do I use this? Page up, page down? Okay. I kinda wanna crush the rubber ducky, see how that works. Little rubber ducky. So, he has his lights on and everything, and the sergeant comes fucking barreling out. So we're just sitting around talking about Corvettes and stuff like that, and, and he's talking about how, like, they're chasing bikes that night, and, and they've been chasing, like, Honda Civics and stuff, and, you know, there's a video of some guy doing a burnout on, like, a Facebook page, and, they're gonna give him tickets and stuff. I was like, holy shit, like, <laughs> cool, I guess. Like, oh, good, good, man. Oh my god. So anyways, we're all in a circle around the cars, and then you guys will see the picture if you check out my Instagram. Um, let me just, um, page down. Okay, yeah, so let's, let's crush this little ducky here. It's gonna make the squeak sound. So the sheriff, or the sergeant, whatever, gets out. He's probably about five feet tall, weighs about 330 pounds, grabs his belt, hobbles towards us, and he's like, and then he sees us just shooting the shit talking with this- this cop. And he's like, man, we got real work to do, you know, we don't gotta be out here. Just people complained or something. No one complained. They were just driving by, I bet. And he's like, uh, you guys shouldn't- you shouldn't be hanging out with those Civics or anything like that. You guys are too good of a crowd or something like that with our cars. I mean, it's a Hellcat, two Corvettes, and an- and a STI. They're nice cars. Um, let me see how this- this squishes. Oh, great. That is- that just works. Oh, oh boy. Oh, it's melting. It melted. So the, the the sergeant comes over and he's like, the Corvette, huh? Shouldn't you be in bed by now, old man? Like talking to the young guy that owns the Corvette. <laughs> he's like, well, the fucking old people drive Corvettes and stuff, and he he drives a Corvette. So it was it was funny. And then uh, we we were kind of shitting ourselves the whole time. And then we we're like, all right, let's let's. They're like, okay, guys, get out of here. Then you know, you, whatever. They didn't even actually care that we were there, parked in the middle of the road. They really didn't fucking say anything. Like, about us being parked there. We just decided, hey, we should probably get the fuck out of here. So we left, doing the speed limit, as we always do anyways. <laughs> and as- as the cops are going- going to get in the car and stuff, one of the cops turns around and he's like, Hey, uh, you guys know what- what a Honda Civic with a fart can? You know the sound it makes when it accelerates? And, uh, we're like, what? And he's like, um, gay, gay. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? You can't even write this shit! Did you just say that? Like, I wish I had recorded all of it, but I wasn't about to take out my phone and start recording these fucking cops that are being super cool. Even though we could straight up go to jail right now, basically. And, and where I live, that's fucking jail time. So this cop's like, fucking, just talking shit. Like, I don't know man, it was... It was the weirdest thing I think I've ever had happen to me. And I figured you guys would have loved to hear about it. Um, by the way, there's gonna be some videos on my Instagram as well, of that night. Um, they're filmed in Mexico though, obviously. Wink wink, Mexico. Wherever. Um, but yeah, like I- like I said, they're- it was- it was crazy.
And I haven't done one of these videos in a while where I just talk, but it's nice, man. It's nice to just tell a story rather than having to be, you know, doing something all the time. You know, like, oh, I'm gonna crash this, crash that. I like to, I like to talk, you know? But like I said, I'm not sure when those videos are gonna go up from that night, but I'm, I definitely have a picture I can put up on my Instagram. And uh, it'll probably be up there already by the time you guys watch this video. So like I said, you gotta check out my... Uh, sorry. My Instagram for that picture. And my Twitter. It's on my Twitter as well. And um, I like to talk back to people on anything I can. Um, well, in real life too. It's like, hey, you shut up. No, you shut up more, idiot face. No, I don't mean talk back like that. I mean talk back like... Uh, like send you guys messages back and stuff and reply to comments on everything I try to. Um, over the years it's gotten fucking, man, it's gotten a lot harder, but it's still, I don't know. Like it's still, it's not hard to do, but it is hard to do because there's, there's a lot of you. Um, it's like, oh, there's so many subscribers, but no, it's just like, oh shit. Like but I just want to make sure you guys know that I appreciate you. And um, I mean, anybody that follows me on Instagram and Twitter or even subscribes to me on YouTube, it's like, best people in the world I think not even just because they subscribe to me it's just like we have the same sense of humor kind of you think about it it's great so you know using something that's like, like more purpose built for this is is kind of working a little better for me because I mean this thing is built to just take a beating and keep on eating I'm here I'm hungry why did I say that why did I say that so I don't know um but yeah have you guys had any weird experiences with, with cops like that where they're just like super nice I've had a few, man. I've had a few in the past, like, couple months, and it's really, like, really odd, because you get, like, really dick cops, and you get, like, really cool ones, and it doesn't make... it doesn't make much sense. And I didn't even have to name drop my uncle. Like, my uncle's a famous cop around here, um, I don't even... I didn't fucking have to say anything. I was like, yeah, fuck it, whatever. I'm not even gonna say Like, if I get in trouble, or if I'm about to get in trouble, I name drop, and I don't get in trouble. It's great. I'm just kidding. I don't name drop. I just say, hey, you obviously don't know the fuck I am. I'm Spears the main thing HD. You ever heard of a game called BeamNG? You heard of Grand Theft Auto mods? Yeah, that was me. And all of them. Mm. You know what? Considering this thing's like the Superman of BeamNG cars, kind of. Well, not really, actually, but it, it's pretty indestructible. Let's see how this works real quick. Mm, perfect. All right, now, where is it? There we go. Oh, shit. Well, that's what I wanted. All right, page down. Let's see if it, uh... Just kind of pops through the top there like the little rubber duck did. I don't think it will, but it might. No, it's not going to. Oh shit, look at that. I want to see this thing melt. I actually don't think it will, because that's a f Oh, it's melting. Kind of. There we go. Perfect! I've just made it now, that's some- literally nobody can sit in that thing. Oh, that's even- that's even lower now, that's not good. Let's see if we can get one more down here without breaking anything. Surprised the engine's taking that though, honestly, because the engine's right there. Boom. Alright, so if I kept going, it would get lower and lower and lower eventually until it kind of just got the engine and the engine was like, Alright, I'm not having any of this. You're beating the shit out of me right now for no reason. Oh. Hey! That looks even better. A little lower like that? I mean, it kind of looks like a fucking... Like a, like a door from Lord of the Rings would drive this or something, but hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think the flip ramp's actually set up right either, so it's not just a regular ramp. And that's no fun. Oh boy, that's why it's no f well... Okay, I guess it's still kind of fun. Oh, it's kind of working. What the hell is in my wheel? Look at that. My tire's got like a spike in it. Well, that can't be healthy. There we go. Oh great. What transmission? I don't know. Let's see if anything is actually like visibly broken. Or drive shaft. I don't know what broke. Something definitely broke. I'm in drive. Yep. Let's go in reverse. Well, reverse isn't where Oh shit, starved of oil. No, 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 no. No, 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 I don't want that to be the problem. That's gonna be the problem. Stop! Stop! There you go. Perfect. Oh, it moves. Just not fast. At all. I'll just put it in low range then. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Put it back in the high. Hmm. I'm not sure what the problem with this thing is. Wait a second. Hold on. Let's go into... Realistic? Yeah, manual. One, two, no? Okay. That's cool that it actually shows you right there. This thing, it's a three-speed transmission. Or you can put it in automatic, I guess. I don't, I don't actually know where automatic sits. Arcade. Yeah, okay, we're just... Yeah, whatever. 
You know what I want to do? I just want to run into that little rubber duck right there. I want to squish his ass. Oh my god, he blew up! He's on fire. He's on fire. The rubber duck is on fire. Let's see what it looks like on the interior view. Like, there, there's the pigeon. You see the pigeon body on the inside? This is a pigeon, if you're wondering, the, the little three-wheeler. But, uh, for today, it's a rubber duck. And it does some fucking mad peels. Look at this. Huh? You ever seen a rubber ducky do- rubber ducky. A rubber duck do a burnout? Well, apparently I haven't either. Okay. That is one special looking duck. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I wanna smash him into a wall or something, I don't know why. Alright buddy, listen. Let's just go this way. Okay, we'll go straight. I know you don't like the crusher over there, cause you kinda just went through the top of it. Cause you don't really- you kinda just like... Not a real rubber duck. <laughs> but if it was, that'd be hilarious. Imagine squishing it, just goes me like makes a sound. Oh my fucking god! What? Oh! But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. And let me know. All right, it helps out a bunch. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you as a person. Okay. I'm glad you watched my video. I mean, hey, if you watched it all the way up until now, let me know in the comments and let me know what you thought of that story because I thought it was pretty good, man. It's a funny story. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Like I said, thanks for watching. What is the problem with this thing? Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is mind-boggling right now, like, <laughs> oh, his eye!